Okay, today we're going to make a gingerbread girl from a pizza pan. First thing we're going to do, well, this is this is what I'm going to need. I'm going to need some alcohol, a pizza pan, obviously, different colors of paint for the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, and then the base. I'm going to make a base color out of these three colors, which is the burnt umber from Apple Barrel, the beachcomber beige, and then an orange. It doesn't really matter which brand it is. Just use whatever you want and make the color that you want your gingerbread girl to be. The first thing you need to do is clean off your pizza pan so it will be prepared for painting with alcohol. Clean it off with alcohol. Make sure there's nothing in there. Okay, there we go. The next thing I'm going to do is mix up some paint. I don't think this will be a big enough pan, a big enough tray, so let me get a little cup to mix it in. See if it's the color I like. I want a light brown for my gingerbread girl. I'm not sure. Cinnamon, what color is cinnamon? I think it's brown with a little orange. <laughs> I'm not really sure about that, but this will be okay. Okay, let me get my foam paintbrush here and dump some of this out. I may have to mix some more. This foam paintbrush is taking up more than I put it with. You can paint your pizza pan as light or as dark as you want. This is your project. So do it any way you want to do it. Okay. I'm going to paint it relatively thin because I do want it to dry soon since I'm doing this project live. That color looks like milk chocolate, which is probably not the color of gingerbread, but like I said, you can make it any color you want. And that was exactly the right amount of paint. I probably could have used a little bit less because I see a lot of excess. Not a lot of excess, but I do see that it's wet. Before when I did this, it was pretty much dry by the time I got done painting it. Which I did have to mix up three different times. I, I did have to mix up paint the last time about three different times because I didn't put enough on here to begin with. But this time I did it right. Okay, now I'm going to get my projects, my other items ready while I'm waiting for this to dry just a bit in front of the fan. And that is pretty much the color of milk chocolate. Uh, it looks like my Hershey Kisses uh, melted. <laughs> 
Okay, now I'm done with those three colors. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to outline the little squigglies. First, let me say this. I did find this project on Keeper of the Cheerios. She has several painted tins like this that you could use as signs or door hangers, whatever you want to use them as. But I'm going to use the little squiggly lines around the outside with puppy paint. And this color is white. I believe I'm going to do the nose in pink and the cheeks in red and then the eyes and the mouth with black. I may use a pipe cleaner as the mouth like she did, but I was just thinking about using paint. But I can't draw a curved line, a straight line, a crooked line, any kind of line. But I can try to see if I can make a curve with this or whichever color. Let me see, and I was also thinking about using these uh, little googly eyes as the nose. I mean, as not as the nose, as the eyes. The eyes are here. With the googly eyes. And then, um, let me see here. I don't... I really don't think so. I think those are going to be too small. So we'll just put those to the side. And I also have made a bow before this for her top of her head. So let me go ahead and get this started. The little squiggly lines. It's pretty much dry. Except where I just put my fingers. But that's probably why I set it over that. This one I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it upside down and squiggly line around the edges. Let me start here. This is puppy paint, so it will, it should get puppy. There we go. This is homemade. It's not professional, so it's okay that some of the lines are not exactly what you would think they should be. Okay. I know it's the day after Christmas, but I still wanted a gingerbread girl for my granddaughter. Okay, now what I'm going to do is see if I can draw two black eyes. I'm going to do a paint pen. Let me see. Let me try that. The black paint pen. I'm just no good with circles. And to put a big glob of puffy paint, I don't know how well that would work out. I'm just no good with drawing circles. So, how about I draw a circle, and then I fill it with puffy paint. Yes, I'm no good with circles, ovals. Okay, let's see if I fill it up with this now. Okay. I'm kind of do them at an oblong slant. Like, it's probably the wrong way to do it, but I'm not a professional artist here. Okay. 
okay. I know that doesn't look the same, but I cannot draw it the same. There's no way. <laughs> this is a small pizza pan with eyes as high as big as her head. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's funny. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Your pizza pan, <laughs> you draw her eyes. My pizza pan, this is the best I can do <laughs> with her <our> eyes. <laughs> Okay, just stop. <laughs> I don't even have a clue how I'm going to do her notes. <laughs> okay, let's try. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking when I decided to do this. I was thinking it would be cute, but I wasn't thinking about actually having to draw circles <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> Oh no. Anyways, it's just a little home project. It's okay. You can have it look any color, any way you want it to look. I want big eyes. <laughs> I want her to have really big, big eyes. <laughs> hey, this is more of a circle. <laughs> a triangle circle. <laughs> oh my gosh. That nose is too close to her eyes too, I think. <laughs> okay, stop. <clears throat> okay, stop. Okay, <laughs> thank you all for joining me. Can you tell me in the comments what you would have done differently to get circle eyes? Because the googly eyes, uh, <laughs> they're way too little. I can't stop laughing. They're way too little for this pizza pan. And those are way too big. Yay. Maybe I could put these in those. Just drop them down in there. <laughs> oh no, girl. They actually didn't want to come off. But I don't think that would look good. I think the little sparkle in her eye I was going to do with white would look just fine. Let me draw two little rosy red cheeks in the form of a circle. <laughs> hey, how about I draw an X and then a circle around it? Wow, I actually kind of did a circle. It's a little too small, but I can fix that. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Sorry about that. Okay, let me try the X again. Okay, does that look like a circle? Yeah, I really wasn't thinking about exactly what I was going to have to do. I just wanted to do this uh, gingerbread pan. I saw it on Keeper of the Cheerios and I thought it was adorable. Uh, hers was a lot more adorable than mine, but it's just the thought that counts, I guess. Okay, <laughs> those are some huge eyes. <laughs> I know I have to stop laughing. <clears throat> I'm making myself cry. Excuse me. Okay, now to do, I think that's going to be adorable with a bow up here. And then let me see what I can do about the mouth. Let's see if this is wide enough. If you make any little mistakes, like I put my hand in the white over here, you can fix that at the end. Uh oh. Okay, didn't get anything. I was wondering if I could do that, if that would be okay. I think so, but I really don't like that color. How about <clears throat> this um, red, white, and green? Is that too colorful? No, actually, I think it'll be okay. I 
just winded three together. I, it was a candy cane, but I never used it, so. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you would use instead of what I've used. Because, obviously, I'm not an artist. But this is just something for fun I would like to do with my granddaughter or grandson. But they aren't here, but I'm going to give this to them. I think that'll be good. <clears throat> and then put the bow here. And then... <clears throat> sorry about that. I apologize. And then I'm going to put a sparkle in her eye with the white. And then put that there. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the sparkle in her eye until this dries, though. But let me go ahead and put this smile on. It probably should be black, but hey, you know what? Everybody loves color, right? Whoops. What else could possibly go astray? A little bit wrong. <laughs> I will paint that again. Uh, just touch it up at the end. Well, now it doesn't want to move. Okay, you know, that, that looks good to me. I'll just get this paint off and touch these brown spots up where I got the glue at. Imperfections is what makes it homemade, right? This looks a different color, that's because this is dry and this is wet, so it will all be the same in the end. Except those big eyes. Okay, I better leave it alone before I mess it up anymore. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put a little sparkle in her eye. Okay, how should I do this? Let me see if I can practice right here. Now it looks good on here. Let's see if I can do that over here. Since I don't have anywhere to lay my hand, uh, probably, I'm, I need to make the nose a little bigger. I think, although I'm scared to try. Hey, it's not perfect, but well, you know, I never claim to be perfect. <laughs> Let me see what I can do with the nose here. I have no idea what shape a nose should be. Wait a minute, I think it's a little triangle. Oh. <laughs> the nose matches the eyes now. And her cheeks sure are, small, sure are small compared to her nose and eyes. But, you know, I think it's cute. <laughs> so, let me see if I can get the um, bow in a good spot. Up top or at the side. you say do you think I should put it on the top or a little to the side thank you so much I appreciate that do you think I should put the nose I mean the bow to the side or to the um, right exactly up top What do you say? 
to the side. Okay, thank you for your help there. I think I was liking that better myself because that just looked too perfect there. Too uniform, not too perfect because <laughs> this gingerbread girl is not perfect in any way. But she is my gingerbread girl, so she's perfect in my eyes. So I'm going to put a little hot glue on the back of here. And yes, even though the paint isn't dry, uh, it's pretty much dry. Well, the white is pretty much dry. What do you think? <laughs> do you like it? I hope so. I think she's cute. Little Miss Gingerbread Girl. Where, where are y'all watching from? I appreciate you all being here with me today. <laughs> Thank you for laughing with me and having fun with me. Which, I didn't try to do this on purpose. <laughs> this is the best that I can do. But I'm going to make some Christmas ornaments in just a little bit. If you would like to join me back in a few moments. And put some little white stencils on these little wood pieces. Thank you all for joining me today. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.